हेलो एवरीवन एंड वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सरोवर ज्ञान माय नेम इज़ डॉक्टर लोकेंद्र सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दोज क्वेश्चंस एंड सजेशंस व्हिच आर पुट ऑन द चैनल फ्रॉम द सब्सक्राइबर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी थैंक यू गाइज दैट यू आर कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू चैनल एंड यू आर पुटिंग सजेशंस विच आर रियली वैल्यूबल फॉर मी थैंक यू सो वेरी मच इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल सो प्लीज़ डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल so let's start with the particular q and a so uh, santosh is saying that videos are helpful thank you for that can you please share production issues in devops environment how that to be resolved and what i would learn from it can you please spend some time for this so yes my dear i can spend a lot of time on this not a problem with that but devops is not based on a single situation or single scenario so we need to understand like what all components are involved within it you need to have a proper knowledge of all the component which are used by devops like first of all linux platform then after git jenkins that is ansible that is monitoring tool that is application support so if you know these things fine so if i let you have a single example that is based on git maybe there is some problem we are a developer is facing with git so how you can resolve it i can easily explain that to you fine but that will not help you out for this so you need to have an end to end understanding of the concept and the like tools which are used in devops fine but yes if you have any specific query related to any specific tool so please do write in comment box i will be there to help you and i will definitely create a video or maybe i will write the answer in text for you for sure okay so now uh, kapil kaushal is saying that can you please advise what recommended approach should i follow to retain the ip and the approach should be compliance so the question here is that kapil is trying to create new infrastructure uh, as ec2 machine but he wants to have same ip address using terraform so let me tell you first of all if the ip addresses are getting changed so that does not go behind or beyond compliance reason being compliance says that all the servers should be in private subnet only when you are talking about any bank banking sector or when you want to have your infrastructure as secure so there is no need to have certain ip addresses only reason being when you talk about vpc so vpc is a regional service wherein you have multiple subnets so if you want to provide ip address so first of all you will have to ensure that how many ip addresses are already in use if a server is going to get shut down so first of all you will have to track the inventory you will have to keep on updating your inventory of the ip addresses which are in use or which are free so whenever your terraform will obviously go to create new instances so you will have to pick the ip address from the available instances inventory file fine and that inventory file has to be updated based on the services and based on the resources are consuming those ip address if you terminate a server then ip address will be released from that server then you will have to update that ip address in your free ip address availability inventory list fine so based on that you can start picking ip address from there well let me tell you that is not that required reason being if you are assigning dynamic ip address to your resources then that's not that does not break the compliance issues that is always compliant fine okay so uh, next is like uh, venkat is saying like Uh, super explanation clearly understand the real time scenario but i have a doubt how to connect web server to application server so first of all let us try to understand what is web server and what is app server web server means the particular interface the particular server which is responsible for you to provide a web interface fine that is known as web server now what is application server so application server means a server which is responsible to provide use cases to end user or the particular application workflow to user for example when a user logs in so what sort of a screen the user is going to see that web interface will be provided by application server but the end to end logic that will be served by one application server 
fine so when user will log into application server that will be feature of your app web server but what else he can perform whatever a user can perform that will be depending on the application server so within web server you will have application property files which will be responsible to get interact to get in touch with or uh, to interact with your application server so you will have to define the path or define the ip address maybe dns name of your application servers within your web server so whenever a user is trying to hit a specific button or trying to explore a specific page so how user should be dealt with how your web server is going to respond or how your web server is going to interact with your backend server backend means your application server so we'll have to define that within your application it means your web server fine that is how you are going to deal you are going to deal with it okay so next is what is the main difference between sre and devops so let me make it very clear to you guys whether it is devops or whether it is sre both the teams are responsible to manage development as well as production servers but if we talk about what are the main roles of sre so sre it means site reliability engineering team sre sre means site reliability engineering fine so that team is mainly responsible to support for production environment fine so the, uh, this team is responsible for monitoring infrastructure optimization cost optimization and resource provisioning security and uh, if there is a particular issue going on with production environment then sre team is mainly responsible for production servers and providing application support figuring out if there is any issue going on pro doing load test doing uh, multiple things on production environment mainly fine so that is main responsibility of sre but that totally depends on the organization itself that how the team is being utilized so it is not always mandatory or it is not always recommended that sre engineer will not work on development environment they may have to support development teams as well but as per google standard so sre team is mainly responsible for production environment support fine wherein devops as the name suggest so devops team is helping developer in development environment setup in testing environment setup qa maybe uat and rest of environment setup plus support that is main task of devops team moreover automation and to work with different tools like git jenkins ansible and uh, maybe to explore new components with which are going to be implemented within your environment so this is main task of devops team fine so i hope this uh, clears the question it means sr is mainly responsible for production server support wherein devops team is responsible for development as well as production servers fine both the teams work on almost all tools wherein devops team has the right or has the responsibility to develop and explore new tools fine okay so so aki is asking like sir anywhere available aws solution architect course for free so yes if we talk about aws solution architect course so that course is available on server gyan channel itself uh i will share the link of couple of playlist which are explaining ec2 your s3 elb auto scaling and your uh, rds ebs and uh, cloud formation cloud watch and sns so these are videos already available which are usually covered within aws certified solution architect so this is for free available on youtube i will share the link in description box you can check that out okay so now uh, next question is from aki reddy once again aki so uh, anki reddy so the uh, anki is asking i have a doubt created a, uh, an elb with apache 2 my code as hello world now i need to change my code to learning from aws server gyan great keep on learning buddy so configure desired one and max 3 so uh, there was one more question uh, that was asked by Uh, someone else so i forgot the name so what is desired and what is maximum and what is minimum value so let me explain these three values first of all desired means for example you have uh, three different values minimum maximum and desired so when you change your desired value to 5 let us say for an example minimum you have set it to 2 maximum you have set it to 10 and desired you have made it to 5 as soon as you will modify the value desired 
so as soon as you will change the desired value 5 so aws auto scaling group will create at least 5 server for you at the given point of time let me repeat it again once you set your desired value to 5 that aws auto scaling group will set desired value to 5 means 5 instances will be running now based on the particular scale in and scale out policies if the load on the server is low then aws will keep will start terminating those newly created servers one by one until unless that meets your minimum requirement but if there is high load or if there is like uh, based on the particular alarms which you have set for your for monitoring and for auto healing of your servers so based on that your auto scaling group will take actions but desired means the particular number of servers which you want at that point in time so i hope that makes it clear minimum means whether there is no load on servers whether your servers are running idle but your auto scaling group will not scale out or scale in the servers behind uh, below that level fine so minimum means whether there is a load on server or not but your aws auto scaling group will not like reduce the count of servers below that value max means yes you understand whether there is high load or whether you want that all the resources are being utilized completely and still there is high load but your auto scaling group will not launch new servers beyond the maximum limit fine now what you need to do here is i tried change first instance code as per new given stress is pinned one more instance now running two instances second not getting modified with code why let me tell you so when we want that new spinned up instance should have the same code so let me tell you the particular code which you want to uh, see on the new instance which is going to come up fine so you will have to create an ami out of your running instance for example you have two instance one and two you have written on uh, server one that this is my server one we have written this is my server two on server two it means different text you have uh, created uh, you have created two separate files on two different servers so you will have to create an ami of one instance whatever you want to see as your upcoming instance after creating that ami you will have to add that ami within your launch configuration template or maybe within your launch configuration either launch template you can use with auto scaling group or you can use auto scaling uh, aws launch configuration so you will have to update that uh, new am new created ami within your launch configuration or your launch template only then you will be able to see that particular thing so how you can achieve it you will have to create ami of your running instance then after you will have to update that ami within your uh, auto scaling group launch configuration maybe launch template once you will trigger new instance using that launch configuration launch a launch uh, template then you will achieve this particular stuff so i hope uh, i made your doubt clear if you still have that question or if you have any still doubt then please do let me know i will create a practical video on that particular topic fine so i hope that's been uh, helpful and this has been like uh, informative for you, do these guys and for to rest as well so if you have any further questions, so please do like and subscribe to my channel. Happy learning from Server Gyan. And if you are new to my channel, so please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a good time and happy learning. Thank you.